dear students now we are going to solve some important problems in orbital parameters the first problem calculate the apogee and perigee heights for the given orbital parameters eccentricity and semi major axis values are given so e is equal to 0.0011501 here semi major axis a is equal to 7192.0 335 kilometer okay so next we are going to find out apogee and perigee height here the formulas are apogee height h is equal to r a minus capital r where the small r a is equal to a into 1 plus e this r a represents the length of the radius vector of the apogee point from the geographical radius of the earth So next perigee height here it is represented as H P that is equal to R P minus capital R R P is equal to A into one minus B. This capital R represents the radius of the earth. Its value is six thousand three hundred and seventy one kilometer. For this perigee and apogee heights we have to keep this value as such. So in some other problems we can use the equatorial radius as six thousand three hundred and seventy eight kilometer. So this is the equatorial radius of the earth. Okay. So first we are going to find out the apogee height. The formula is h is equal to r a minus capital R. So first we have to find out small r a. So that is equal to a into one plus e. We have to substitute that a value and e value in this formula. Then we can get R A is equal to seven thousand two hundred point six kilometer. Okay, so after that we have to substitute this value in this apogee height formula. So R A minus capital R. Then we can get apogee height as eight hundred twenty nine point six kilometer. Do you all understand this one? Next we are going to find out the perigee height. So for that we have to get the value of this R P. R P is equal to A into one minus E. So substitute the values of A and E in this formula. Then we can get R P is equal to seven thousand one hundred and eighty four point one kilometer. Then substitute this value in this perigee height formula R P minus capital R. So then we can get seven thousand one hundred and eighty four point one minus six thousand three hundred and seventy one. That is equal to eight hundred and thirteen point one kilometer. So this is the perigee height value. Okay. So the next problem: a satellite is orbiting in the orbital plane with a period from perigee to perigee of twelve hours. Given that the eccentricity is zero point zero two, calculate the semi-major axis. So in this problem, they have given us the period from perigee to perigee. That is nothing but The orbital period capital P. Okay, then the eccentricity E is equal to zero point zero zero two. Okay, so here we have to write the given data as E is equal to zero point zero zero two. E is equal to twelve hours. It can be written as forty three thousand two hundred seconds. As we know that the hours can be written as sixty into sixty seconds. Okay, so here for the semi major axis. So we are going to find out the semi-major axis. For this, we need to have the value mu. So what is mu here? It is the Earth's geocentric gravitational constant. It is the constant value. So you have to remember this value for this semi-major axis calculation. Okay? So mu is equal to three point nine eight six zero zero five in ten to the power fourteen meter cube per second squared. Okay, so it is the Earth's geocentric gravitational constant. Okay, so and also here we have to consider the equatorial radius that is six thousand three hundred and seventy eight kilometer as Earth radius. Okay, so then we are going to find out the semi-major axis. So according to Hepler's third law, semi-major axis is equal to mu by n square the whole power one by three. So here n is nothing but the mean motion that is equal to two pi pi p. So we have the value p over here. Then we are going to substitute that value here. P is nothing but what forty three thousand two hundred seconds. Okay. Then we can get n value as 
zero point zero 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 one four five triple four one zero four. So we can simplify this value as the mean motion n is equal to one point four five four. So we have to move this decimal point over here. Okay, so that can be replaced with ten to the power minus four second power minus one. Okay. After that, we have to substitute this n value in the semi-major axis formula. So, according to Hepler's third law, a is equal to mu by n squared the whole power one by three. So, we can simply substitute this constant value divided by n squared. Okay, then we can get the value as around twenty-six thousand six hundred and two kilometers.